Hey everyone, this is Robert from Gamer Guild Clan. I am going to be continuing Fatal Frame. <laughs> I was about to say Fatal Frame 5. No, Fatal Frame 3 Tormented because it has been way too long. I, I'm super excited for Fatal Frame 5. I really wanted to come out. It comes out in just a few days. I'm going to get that shit day one and I'm going to record it blind because I've been purposely avoiding everything about that game. So, last time we, uh,. I don't know, it's been too long. Um, but we did get progress. I remember we got the purifying light, we did all of that. But, that's not important. Not important whatsoever. Except everything. It's important about everything because it's a huge gameplay mechanic. But, for now, we will be heading into the dream. Please, you tell me. Am I really supposed to be alive? Yes, uh, I would think that that would be the best choice of action for you. Oh, sorry about that, if you heard any of that noise. You know what, no, I won't be able to. I was going to change the brightness to put it up because this is the second time I've had to record this. I had to record the second time because it just decided to crap out on me, and that was really annoying. Okay, so first thing first, I want to learn how to control the game. I want to get behind here, get this herbal medicine. I don't know how many we have, doesn't matter, I'll check that later. But I want to go through here, to the preserve room. Oh my, you, you guys can see this. This is incredibly dark. Even if I change the cam, even if I like change the flashlight around to be at my floor, that it, it resets when you start running. Or really just jogging. It's like slow jog. That's what she is. That's what they do. Oh, camera angles. I want to go this way. And through the store. I don't know why I went that, but that freaked me out that I saw the filament go up. Okay, so. Boss fight. The shrine lady. We fought her before. Now we have to fight her again. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Get that fatal frame. He hates it. Oh, I didn't get it that time, actually. Oh god, where is she? Where is she? Oh shit! Oh my god, you took over half my health! Holy shit, you should not be allowed to do that. The first time I recorded this, this this fight went amazing. I, I, I did it super well, I didn't get hurt. She went down, no problem, and it's like, no, you're not allowed to do that now. I knew it. Oh, there you are. Oh. Fu no, 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 no. Sorry if you can hear the clicking. Where is she? There you are. No, god damn it. Dude, again, this makes me hate my first playthrough even more. I'm using all these items and I really shouldn't be. Get you right there. Fatal frame. Or, no, it wasn't a fatal frame. There we go. And I 
this to get. Don't disappear on me. Don't disappear on me. There, you're dead. Oh, that was awful. I hate myself for that. I want to go back. Go back and forget. So here we have a choice. We can either follow Mafuyu or we can go back the way we came. There's a different cutscene for each. I will be heading after Mafuyu. I do not know what the other scene looks like. Oh. I keep skipping text on, uh, on accident. Did that the first time I recorded this too. Let's sit back and enjoy. Yo, he's finally looking at us. We gotta check out his back a lot, but now we actually get to see his I'll face. Show you. Ah, he's dead, girl. It's a cannon ending. If I was in this situation of, in Miku's Mikuyu. case of running after her, ru running after, like, brother, I'm character, sorry. whatever, or forgetting, it'd be hard, it'd be tempting, because you want to see your brother again. You haven't seen him for so many years, you weren't sure if he was alive or dead, though in this case, we know he's dead, but... Yeah, I'd, I'd probably want to forget, especially if I'm in death. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. She says, please don't go Miku, but she doesn't say Miku in my mind. It's weird. So how about that Fatal Frame 5? God, I want that game. But I shouldn't want that game. This game already terrifies me enough. I can't play this game alone for very much. Before getting, like, terrified beyond belief. But here I am playing it by myself. And I'm going to be finishing it by myself. And I don't like that idea. But there I am, wanting to play Fatal Frame 5, and I'm going to record that blind by myself. Fantastic <laughs> idea, I know, right? That still terrifies me. I don't know how the hell I'm looking at that with a smile on my face. I am terrified. Okay, got calm down. I, I really want to, like, I've been personally avoiding all trailers for Fatal Frame 5. I really want to know how they're going to use the gamepad. I imagine using it for the camera, um, which would be fine. Like, I mean, that's the perfect idea for it. But I, I, I really want to know what else you can do with it. Like, map screen, I understand that. That would be a godsend. I'd love that. Um, general item menu. General item menu would be great, too. All the basic stuff, though. Really, the basic stuff. But I wonder if they're going to have any unique features... Uh, specifically for the gamepad. <sighs> Miku's gone. He's just sleeping away. That is the last time we get to play as Miku. Unfortunately. How long has it been? That's not an answer, Ray. It's really not an answer. I can't take any more. Are we going 
to die? I think the person with the highest probability of that happening is K. I mean, he is the weakest character in the game. And I've mentioned this before, I think. Again, it's been a really long time. Um, but on my first playthrough of this game, I actually found playing as K a a lot more enjoyable. Um, cause for some reason, I guess I was just having a lot more luck with do with uh, fighting ghosts. And I was able to go through fights generally faster, even though that makes no sense in terms of the character's stats. Because K has by far the lowest amount of upgrades possible out of the three characters character syndrome and Miku having the second most because she's from Fatal Frame 1 and so therefore she's already strong as shit already Ray there might still be some hope I would hope so but you can just see Ray like you can just see in her eyes She's so out of it. She doesn't want to do this anymore. Uh, Miku Hinasaki. So we gotta talk to uh, K. Sorry about skipping the text. It's just going through this twice. It's just really annoying. As always, I won't be reading these, but I will be leaving enough space for if you guys want to read them, be sure to pause the video and read to your heart's content. K. Uh, Sleeping Priestess. Legend of Song. Ten pages. It's too long. Again, these... These journal entries and... Uh... Like, other text files that you get. They help you relate to the characters a lot more. They allow you to get some more backstory and explanation on why some of the ghosts do the things they do. Like the rope shrine maiden, the you'll get files that explain why she's like that. Um, the tattooed priestess, you get text files. The song that you hear, everything, everything gets explained in these text files. I mean, it's better than Destiny. I mean, Destiny didn't even have anything sim like relating to a story whatsoever, unless you went onto the goddamn website. Stupid. Taken King was really good though. That was a really good DLC. Played that with Colin. I was glad to actually see cutscenes. That was really cool, though. I mean, they're cutscenes. That's what I wanted. It's like the opposite of Metal Gear Solid Five. I want to talk to you again. Given that picture of me, you, and Mayu. Shit. God damn it. Keep. Sorry about that. Oh, Fatal Frame 2, how I will never play you because I, I, I don't feel like torturing myself anymore. I, I, I haven't played any Fatal Frame 1 or 2. I just read about them. But I would really hope that there was gameplay improvements between the first three games. I, I really hope that. Um, and especially with the two re-releases. Or was it... I can't remember if it was two re-releases for Fatal Frame 2 or not. Uh, I know there was Crimson Butterfly, that's the original title, and then there's Deep Crimson Butterfly. Um, and that was a remake for the Xbox, I believe, but I'm not sure if there was a Wii version. I f no. I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass, I don't know anything. I know there was an Xbox version, I know that. It was updated. But I'm not sure if that came out after 3 already came out or not. I just know a lot of people don't like 3, uh, and everyone's like, oh no, 2 is the best one, it's the scariest one. So that makes it worse for me, because this game is already terrifying. And going under the floorboards or whatever, and that crawling ghost attacks you, fuck that, that's why I made Colin play that, I don't want to play that again. If you preserve the dead, you will not be able to return. Yeah. Set that was supposed to be given to K. And another note. Sleeping Priestess. Yep. Okay. Now we gotta go and talk to K again.
Come on, come on. No, no, no. There we go. It's stuck on the walls. God damn it. I keep getting stuck on things. Okay. Yeah. I think I zoned out for a second. Okay. But that is all the time we have for this part. I know it's fair I know it was fairly short, but I had to keep things going. I mean the next time we go to sleep that will be chapter fifteen uh, not chapter fifteen. Chapter twelve. I don't know why I said fifteen. I think I said fifteen earlier. Whatever. Uh next time. Okay, Ray, you freaked me out there. I wasn't looking at you. Next time we will be entering chapter twelve. We will be playing as K for that time, so yay. And it's a long one. I have a lot of steps I need to write down for my walkthrough in order to get through that cohesively.